assalamu alaikum dear students uh, in this video of applied linear algebra uh, i would discuss uh, an important topic that is known as qr decomposition or we also call call that qr factorization uh, actually in this uh, process we break down a matrix a which is an m cross n matrix with linearly independent column vectors into two into product of two matrices in which one matrix is q and other one is r and that is why this process is called qr decomposition or qr factorization well the special thing about this q is that the all the vectors of q would be orthonormal vectors and order of q would be same as the order of a that is m cross n and r would be an invertible upper triangular matrix so before i uh, going to discuss this topic i would say that you must watch two of my previous lectures one is related to gram schmidt process which is actually a process to convert non orthogonal vectors uh, into orthogonal vectors and in the same lecture i explain how to convert vectors uh, which are not orthogonal into orthonormal vectors so uh, understanding of that gram schmidt process is very crucial to understand uh, this qr factorization and the second thing uh, that you must know before uh, studying qr factorization is the inner product or dot product between two vectors and i have already uploaded a uh, few videos explaining the dot product uh, between two vectors so uh, let us consider an example uh, to understand the process if we have a 3 cross 3 matrix a then the product of q r uh, would be equal to a and we need to find this q and r and that process is called q r factorization here this q would be uh, a matrix whose columns would be q1 q2 and q3 and these vectors q1 q2 q3 would be the outcome of gram schmidt process followed by normalization and that is why you must uh, watch my previous video related to gram schmidt process so after obtaining these q1 q2 and q3 and arranging them in a mat matrix we would get q and here r can be uh, written in this form and here this is actually the dot product between u1 and q1 u1 is first column of a and q1 is first column of q and we would take their dot product their dot product would be a number and that number would be placed over here similarly we would write the dot product of u2 with q1 over here and similarly we would write the dot product of u3 over here and due to upper triangular matrix these entries would be zero and uh, in this uh, a row we, we would take uh, the dot product of u2 with q2 and then u3 with q3 and then u3 with q3 and that is how we calculate the matrix r suppose uh, we have a matrix a whose columns are u1 u2 and u3 which are equal to 1 1 1 0 1 1 and 0 0 1 and we want to decompose or we want to factorize this matrix a into its qr decomposition or qr factorization let's take u1 u2 and u3 then apply the process of gram schmidt and then we will get q1 and q3 i would skip all the calculations and i would just write down the answers here q1 would be 1 over under root 3 1 over under root 3 1 over under root 3 and q2 would be minus 2 over under root 6 1 over under root 6 1 over under root 6 and q3 is 0 minus 1 over under root 2 1 over under root 2 and all these calculations are given in my previous lecture here uh, by just arranging these qis uh, in the form of columns we would get q and q would be q1 q2 and q3 so uh, one of uh, the objectives 
is achieved that we have obtained the value of q and the next is uh, obtaining the value of r uh, we all already have written the formula for r and we just have to replace the values of u1 and q1 and take its dot product we can take the dot product in rough work and then just replace the answers over here and i am doing the same i will just write down the answers and the product of u1 dot dot product between u1 and q1 is 3 under root 3 the dot product between u2 and q1 is 2 over under root 3 and similarly i would write down all the dot products and i would get the matrix r and finally we write a equals to q times r and if uh, somebody wants to verify these calculations he can just multiply uh, these two matrices and surely you would get this matrix A and this process is called QR factorization and we have decomposed or factorized this matrix A into Q and R okay and if you want to practice uh, some of these questions here are some practice questions uh, book is applied linear algebra uh, by Howard Arnton and the exercise is 6.3 and question number is question 1 to 4 then 27 to 31 and 45 to 49 and in next video inshallah i'll discuss another topic of applied linear algebra till then allah hafiz